Hi Aries, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and uh, it's great to see you back again and I hope you enjoy the videos especially the uh, competition video and the update of the yearlies as the energy has changed last week I got beautiful beautiful uh, reactions uh, especially with thumbs up from Gemini and Capricorn they were way over 100 amazing I'm glad you're interacting with the channel <coughs> excuse me and um, now I'm also doing the week for the 8th to the 14th and it's beautiful weather mostly but today it's a bit dull so I uh, hope that the weather is nice and uh, clear and beautiful where you are and that you're relaxing with a cuppa um, uh, whilst you're watching this I'm using the Shadowlands Terror that you can win in the competition or uh, um, well you know I hope you have watched the competition and I hope you like the idea because everybody is a winner in this competition because you um, what you have to do is make a vision board and use it and uh, we'll talk about it from time to time at the end of June it will be the first time so if you've got any questions or issues with a vision board then join in in the life um, and we'll discuss it so um, I hope you uh, will come in on Monday Wednesday or Friday as I go live then it's usually around uh, uh, I think it's uh, one o'clock or two o'clock uh, lunchtime in uh, in Canada uh, no sorry in uh, New York time and um, around six or seven o'clock at night um, in Canada I might get it wrong but it is uh, ar between 8.30 and 9.30 that I go live <coughs> uh, European time so please join us if you can and please subscribe and hit that bell so um, and when you hit the bell hit on all then you'll be notified otherwise you will not get notified if you put it on private or none okay so I do give away free cards and I ask questions that are supported by a super, uh, donation, super chat or a super sticker. And keep also the community tab, uh, an eye on the community tab as I'll leave updates there as well. Now I'm also using the Mirror Truth uh, Lenormand uh, deck that uh, is absolutely beautiful and the White Witch deck which are three new decks that I have and you can see the reviews on those either on the website if you don't want to go scouting around in the playlists or you can um, have a look at them in YouTube in the playlists just look under reviews and of course my angel feather so you will be getting an angel uh, to carry with you or to talk to whenever you need to call upon them for their support so your angel you'll get the angel at the end of the reading okay now we're going to <coughs> that's a bit of the updates so um, Welcome back to all my cyber angels. Thank you for your loyal following and your trust in me. I do appreciate it very, very much. You don't know, know half how much I do appreciate your uh, loyalty and your trust in me. If you would like an extended reading, then look in un below the video. There you'll find all the details, all in the white dot with the eye in the right-hand corner, uh, up in the right-hand corner. And um, I'm going to start off with another, uh, another sort of spread. This is what I usually use in an extended spread, the nine-card uh, spread, because you can re get a lot of... Uh, answers from it. I will only do the basic reading from the extensive reading otherwise I'll be sitting here around 30 to 45 minutes and that is not a general reading anymore. Okay, so we're going to start off with 
uh, the querent card. If you were sitting opposite me, this would be your querent card. But because this is a YouTube reading, I, you can take it as the querent card, or you can take it as your overall theme card. And I'm going to work out from out the center. So this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I'm going to use each corner um, to see what card relates or can relate to the Lenormand card. The same in this way and that in that way. This one with these three cards and obviously I might, it all depends what jumps out because I do um, take this row perhaps but I won't go this way or the diamond way or the cross way so that is how you, I read the cards in an extended reading besides clarification cards and oracle cards okay well as you being you the you and he's coming out quite a bit Aries, this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th, sorry if I haven't mentioned it, but um, this is you, you are the seeker, you are seeking, that is the fool in the traditional tarot, and the seeker, um, it's like the word says, he seeks a new beginning, he seeks knowledge, he seeks um, experience, because the fool has the the mythological story behind it is that the fool was born in a cave and he's coming out in the cave totally innocent so he has no knowledge no experience and that is what he's seeking but perhaps you you are in the same situation or you have an issue that you don't know enough about or that you haven't experienced before like if you have your first love or you have your first home <coughs> perhaps you uh, you haven't uh, had the experience of owning a home or living on your own before so it's a big step to take and you need to take a, a, a leap of faith and that is what the card means take the leap of faith the cat is pointing go forwards <laughs> I love this cat I like it actually better than the dog because I love uh, although I love dogs and you know you if you're a follower of mine that Millie is a dog and she's the mascot of the channel but I've also got Siamese cat but I love this cat and I love these drawings and I love the sense of humor in this deck I don't feel alone when I'm reading, um, especially for you all. I feel as if you are sitting across the table from me. So the camera is you. <laughs> I know, I am nutty, just like these cards, but funny nutty. And love, love life. Okay, so don't lose your head about this new beginning, okay? Just go forward, and you've got your red boots on you are grounded you know what you're doing just go with the flow and take that leap of faith just like the cat is saying put your head back on and the, uh, you, you can see all the mountains so get a bird eye view don't lie on the ground and don't look at nothing just stick your head back on get it together come out of your head in other words because your head won't fall or have fallen on the ground but just get that bird's eye view and see what is in front of you. Fastness, exciting, adventure, everything that's new is exciting. Okay, so we're going to go on Monday and you've got the hanged man upside down. So there's no more delay delays. So if you get this, then it's time to take time out, get a different perspective. Um, meditate, evaluate and contemplate. Well, you've done that. Wow, good. So I would say um, you are taking that leap of faith. You are taking that new beginning. You have got your head on, okay? And you using your head f to go forward and you've contemplated that was that it has been but you are upside down sorry this should be upside down because he was upside down you can uh, wind back and you can see that the card was lying upside down and it's number 12 so that means you are very creative or will be creative and you are taking the step on Monday
Now, for Wednesday, we have the Six of Swords. All the monsters are behind you, or underneath you, as you, the boat is on top of the monster. This sort of represents, I think, difficulties and rough waters. You are leaving that behind. You're leaving issues and problems behind. Perhaps you might have left a job or left a relationship and you're going to quieter waters because there was nothing but arguments and difficulties and there couldn't uh, a balance couldn't be found okay you didn't have the peace to meditate so you are leaving you might be going on holiday or moving home and that could be it as well okay and you're leaving the monsters behind you're conscious of them but you're done with BS. Now, on Friday, you have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a Sagittarius. Okay? You're going to get news. This could come from a young Sagittarius or somebody younger than you. Again, the black cat. Look, you, this is what I mean. He's been traveling. Well, this page, he's young, but he's learned things. Okay? He's just got the stick now instead of the bag. So he knows where he's at and where he's going. He's going to become the knight. So you might get um, news that you are promoted. If it's with regards to a job. Or that you have got your diploma or certificate. If it is to do with education. Because the ones are uh, cards of action doing things and um, it, this could be not only a Sagittarius but don't exclude Leo or Aries so this could be news about action that you have taken or are going to undertake uh, or the result of an action that you've done this could all be, also be news about a hobby as there is creativity and you have been creative Okay, so you will get news by Friday. Now, this could also be about passion, because the ones also stand for passion. Now, at the weekend, you have the page, the page of cups. The page of cups is a Pisces, but don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio. You might get love, like I said, of passion, or something uh, love passion passion is like the ones but it's a gentler passion it's a slower passion so yes I think that if you are in pa uh, if, if you have passion it could turn into a fully fledged relationship so long you take it a little bit slower and don't get burnt let them know your boundaries okay so this could be passion Aries you this could be uh, representing you as a partner with a cancer person or a Pisces person or a Scorpio but you'll get news this could be something that you are, uh, are caring about if you're working in care it might be a job offer it might be um, that you have been taken on um, whatever something that you're you can love that you love or that you're passionate about or that you care about okay now we're going to start off with the uh, this corner for you that's the top left hand corner and you've got the scythe and that's a number 10 there is an ending and a new beginning this could be the promotion this could be the ending of the school year and you are qualified but you've got the page of fire again oh sorry the page of pentacles okay the page of diamond jack um, they don't have knights or pages really in the Lenormand but we also know that jack is a page it's the page queen and king okay so news is coming to you from um, uh, uh, the page of pentacles the page of diamonds so like I said with the page of cups they are quicker than the pentacles but they are they they do take their time and they do 
they do stand for love and emotions so this person could be a very spiritual person the page of cups they are definitely uh, an empathy em, uh, a person with empathy and the page of pentacles I would say also but they're the slowest and it, they mean also security they go for the long haul and for durability now you're cutting away from the past like I said and you will harvest what you will ha of will you what you will ha have a harvest is knowledge life experience and um, uh, knowledge that you've uh, gained on your travels like the seeker okay but you might have already gained knowledge if it's to do with a study a particular kind of knowledge okay wow that is really awesome there's no delays because the hanged man um, is lying here and you are going forward you are going towards what you love and care about okay you're going to do something perhaps you are in love or passion uh, passionate about a relationship you've learned you've opened to open your heart and your solar plex and <clears throat> you're taking a leaf out of the page of waters book you're young you're carefree uh, in your heart and mind but you have found the path to love and you've experienced something and perhaps you might have been in a relationship and as the seeker carries on on his spiritual life journey <coughs> spiritual or life's journey uh, he grows and grows and gathers experience and knowledge and sometimes we do outgrow our partners excuse me <coughs> we do outgrow our partners so perhaps you are leaving your partner and this partner can be um, a water sign or it can be a, a, a coin sign pentacle sign so that the, pen, the um, page of pentacles is Capricorn this could be um, Pisces or a Capricorn but don't exclude any of the others uh, people that I've mentioned okay now we're going to this corner you've got the mountain <coughs> you're not making any problems because you're next to the hanged man and he delays so you're not making uh, any issues you're not making things worse than what they are you're seeing them for what they are you know you don't have to climb the mountain and that you can take the path there's always a road to somewhere you know that you can take your time because you are creative again a three okay and it's lying next door to the hanged, uh, hanged man which is 12 and this is 21 so 3-3 three, three, you've got an angel number so watch out for rep repetitive numbers and you've got the 8 of clover the 8 of staves so th the 8 of staves means news things are going to happen all at once okay you will be receiving news or you might be going on holiday there is travel in the air and perhaps um, well y in the worst scenario you would only look at the black side of this um, because of the COVID-19 uh, um, there can be problems or issues but you have learned to uh, take an other route instead of flying you might go by car or by boat okay now you're not making mountains out of molehills that is what I'm see seeing in this spread okay you have learned because this is really the present and that's in the future so you've already learned because it's lying in this car this this line okay you've turned your back to making you've turned your back to making problems you're moving away from problems we've already seen that so you're staying away out of other people's drama and you're not making drama 
and that is your creativity. Now we're going to the fish and the fish means good luck in business or in work. You know your boundaries. Like I've said here with the pages, know your boundaries otherwise you'll get burnt out. And you've got 34, 7. Wow. Okay. So let them know your boundaries. Um, and be, But you must know them yourself before you can tell other people what your boundaries are and keep to your boundaries and you can change your boundaries every single day remember that no is no just learn to say no I know it's very difficult but if you learn to say no you can move on to smoother waters and you will be respected in get drawing attention and getting news you've got the king of diamonds here so you can look you've got the king of diamonds okay I don't know if you can see it the king of pentacles everything you touch will turn to gold will turn out positively like I said if you don't make drama and you don't you know how to do it and you've got the seven business success or work success now you've turned your back to drama and you know your boundaries you're moving on on your journey you're moving away from troubled waters you've turned your back on that and news might be coming with regards to work because this is the page of wands now we're going to Lily again luck in business um, luck in business or at work you might seek advice from um, a mature man this could be a father figure or a professional like a teacher headmaster an advocate an employer who knows but you've got the king of swords so if you are in a judicial situation uh, or if you are getting a job you might want to get um, uh, um, somebody professional that uh, yeah, yeah is well read or studied the law uh, to check your contract because you want to make sure there are no snakes in the grass uh, in your contract you're doing it the right way you've learned now you've also got number three again a three so three is significant remember three is a crowd that is what I'm getting to hear so you've got three 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 so you don't want to be the fifth wheel on the wagon make sure when you get a contract you're not the fifth wheel or the third person because three is a crowd and five is um, fifth wheel on the wagon brings unbalance but you see the church window or the institutional window you will get help from an institution and um, you've got number three so that means creativity so Aries if you need advice don't shy away from advice you are on your path and you know where you're going you have learned a lot and you will maintain to learn a lot but take time out but not not this time because you haven't got the hermit but you have you do have the hanged man upside down so learn um, that the hanged man sorry the hanged man should be upside down so the hanged man should be um, is telling you take time out I've put it wrong I forgot now which way it doesn't matter but it was I've read it upside down okay so um, the hanged man uh, just uh, advises you take time out and meditate and evaluate or contemplate and evaluate from time to time when you need to now you've got the or uh, red angel feather and it says take action now yes there is a lot of fire and action and moving forward in your reading the angels advise you that a project or idea that you have been working on is finally nearing the point of transformation the angel that you have is Archangel Jovial and Archangel uh, let's see Archangel Jovial uh, that is opening the solar plex okay 
and uh, Archangel Jovial uh, says, you know, um, open your heart in your solar plex so you can move on, be joyful, don't be scared like I've been saying, say no because you have to get respect from other people but stay grounded you've got the red boots so you are grounded that is Archangel Uriel that's the grounding angel so call upon them if you need them then you have the chariot now the chariot also represents cancer okay like you have victory like I said you are moving on you can move to where you want to go it's Get your head on and see where you want to go. You've got public recognition. You might be going on holiday or moving home. And this is your cancer. That could be, doesn't have to be Pisces. Like I said, it can be cancer. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. I hope you will have a beautiful week. So take care and please share and like with family and friends. Thank you, and I'll see you either in the um, live sessions or in the next video. Stay safe.